Hey guys, Brian Haywood here. Welcome to my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel. If this is your first time, thank you for joining. We do a lot of beard related content, uh, product reviews, uh, tips and tricks, styling advice, uh, whatever else we can throw in. I do a song or two a month because uh, I just like playing and singing. I play the banjo and guitar. But uh, thanks for joining me and be getting uh, a lot of good feedback and a lot of uh, interest in this series, which is where I try to find uh, the ideal uh, face covering or mask for guys with beards. So like beard friendly face coverings. All right. So this is video. I think this is video five. So you can go back and check out the other ones if you want. Video one, we talked about this design from the Sammy G collection off the Etsy shop. Uh, video two, we talked about neck gaiters in general. I found some that had some ear holes in it and the pros and cons to all of these things, guys. Uh, video three was uh, a, a different design made by Detroit Grooming. All right, and then video four, we talked about just the, the general kind of bandana. Uh, and I think this one's like a 27 inch. I didn't realize they came in different sizes till I was reading the comments on them, but this is actually a nice option. Um, I'm looking to find ones that don't fall down and you really want the ones that are straight in the front. Now, the issues with almost all of these that I just showed you is when you put them on, it kind of presses against your nose and your mustache and your mouth and it kind of presses everything in. So there are some options out there where uh, it's kind of like got a little pocket built in. All right, so I've, I've been searching and searching and searching and there's all kinds of masks. You see a lot of similarities between them, uh, but so many of them want to go up and under your chin, uh, which obviously messes up your beard. So I saw a picture of this one I'm gonna talk about today uh, and it looked like it may, it may work. Uh, we'll talk about the pros and cons in just a second, but it's very well made and it's by, let me get it right, because it's hard to say, Birdwell Beach Bridges, which is a clothing company. I think they may make like uh, shorts, um, board shorts and stuff for like surfing and that kind of stuff. Um, anyway, so very well made. It says it's reversible. Um, I thought it said reversible. <clears throat> it may not be, but this is uh, obviously it's less material. The thing about some of these is it like kind of covers up your whole beard, but a lot of times it wraps all the way around here. And for me, I get a little bit more claustrophobic, but this one has a nice pow pouch to it where it kind of comes up. And uh, some of the other ones that go straight across is almost when you tie it, it's almost in your eyes. It's so high. This one doesn't. This is definitely the best one I found for your mustache. It doesn't push your, if you've got a larger mustache, it doesn't push that in your mouth. All of the other ones I've talked about and shown you does. So because it's got extra material here um, on it, um, it really does work well. Unfortunately, it, from the picture I saw, I thought it went straight down. It doesn't quite go straight down. It does give me a little bit of a line right here if I wear it a lot, all right? That being said, it's still very comfortable and I'm gonna keep it. And if I have to wear it all day at work, uh, I'm a teacher. I think we're gonna have to wear face coverings when we go back, at least in certain instances. I'll definitely keep this one because it's a lot easier to breathe, even though it's nice and thick. It's got a cotton back uh, to it. Let me see what, I see what it's made out of here. So 100% cotton lining, which is what you need for the CDC recommendations is multi-layers of cotton. The lining is 96% polyester. 4% spandex. This one's actually machine washable on cold if you need to do that. So most of the other ones you just like kind of hand rinse. So that's a little bit different. Uh, this one does have a lot of ties. You don't want anything with like the ear uh, kind of ear straps here. It gives too much pressure right here on your beard and kind of messes it up. So uh, it used to be they didn't have the extra little plastic doodad. So I find you have life, you stick it in your pocket, you got stuff kind of hanging everywhere. So when you look at the options on their website, they've actually got two different price points. They've got seven, seven different colors. Um, five of them are $19.95, then you got to pay shipping and all that stuff. And uh, that's what I bought here, and it was 26 something. Uh, and then they actually have two of them, they have like special. Uh, special colors, they get extra stripes. I guess it's more sewing they have to do. Um, anyway, it's $29.95. So it's way expensive. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for the price, but let's see what it looks like here. So let's put this thing on, get it in place, tighten it down. Very easy to breathe because it kind of creates that pouch and it sticks out a little bit. So I don't have nearly as much of an issue breathing 
as I do uh, in some of the other ones, even though the this part itself is pretty thick. So I think it is kind of doing the job about not letting, I can't feel any breath coming out, it fogs up my glasses, but um, I think that part works well. So you put it here um, and you'll notice right here, it's okay if it's just kind of hanging, but as soon as you start moving your head around and those kind of things, it does put a line in your beard. It doesn't wrap all the way around, so it's just, the line's kind of just right here and it doesn't go all the way around. So um, very comfortable to move around in. It's not as bulky in that it doesn't cover up this entire area. So it's like I feel a little bit more free than I do with some of these uh, the other ones. Um, definitely an option if you had a shorter beard uh, or if you've got just a large mustache. So to me, this is the one that's the most mustache friendly because of the extra little pouch there. Nothing's pushing right on your nose and everything into your uh, into your mouth, which is what most of, I think every one of these other ones do so far. All right, so uh, pros and cons to all of these. I will tell you that I've got two more videos coming at least, maybe three. We'll see how that goes. Uh, and, and this one you can just like lay it down here and then kind of pull it back up if you want. Uh, instead of having to deal with all of this all the time. If you don't like the little plasticky doodads, you can take that off and tie it instead. So, you know, pros and cons, less material there. Uh, like I said, I got two more coming and uh, I'm, I'm happy. I found something that will work for my length beard. Uh, I'll be showing you that coming up in uh, the next video, I think, or maybe the one after that. But anyway, we're going to have at least two more videos coming in this series. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you found something that works for you. Uh, like I said, I'm looking for ones that's friendly on my mustache, doesn't push that in, um, doesn't put lines in my beard, um, doesn't mess that up, and it's easy enough to breathe in, yet still offering the protection. So uh, the, probably my second best option would be just kind of doing this because uh, it kind of goes straight on and straight off. This, you don't have to pull everything up over your head. But anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.